If you're looking for some of the best things to do in Southern Spain, this video is for you. Southern Spain is known for its charming villages, historical cities, blissful year-round weather, and spectacular coastline. I spent two weeks road tripping through the region in April 2023, and it was truly an amazing experience. Here are my recommendations on places to visit in Southern Spain. By the way, I realize I might not be properly pronunciating these cities with my American accent, but I did my best. Number one on the list is the incredibly picturesque hillside village of Frigiliana. With its whitewashed houses with colorful blue accents, winding cobblestone streets, and sweeping views of the Mediterranean, it's no surprise that Frigiliana has been named the prettiest village in southern Spain. What we really enjoyed most was just strolling the narrow pedestrian streets and taking tons of pictures along the way and exploring the local shops and restaurants. Number two on the list is Nerja. Nerja is a resort town located along Spain's Costa del Sol. It's known for its beautiful beaches, cultural attractions, and outdoor activities. One of the most popular points of interest in Nerja is the Balcón de Europa, a large balcony on a cliff with panoramic views of the Mediterranean and surrounding mountains. After taking in the turquoise views from the balcony, you can walk down to the beach and stroll along the promenade that takes you past a few coves and small beaches. The next stop on our road trip through southern Spain was Marbella. Marbella is a luxurious beach town on the Costa del Sol, known for its yacht scene, stylish hotels, and lively bar and restaurant scene. We particularly loved exploring the Old Town section with its corridor-like streets and whitewashed buildings draped in colorful flowers. In the center of Old Town Marbella is a bustling square with plenty of shops, bars, and restaurants to choose from. After spending a couple of days exploring Marbella, we headed to Tarifa. Due to its strong winds and climate and beautiful beaches, Tarifa is a mecca for wind sports. One notable thing about Tarifa is that it's located on the southernmost point of continental Europe just nine miles from the northern coast of Africa. On a clear day, you can see views of northern Africa across the Mediterranean. Tarifa is also home to a historical section with charming streets, plazas, and churches, all enclosed by 13th century walls. From Tarifa, we headed to Cadiz, one of the oldest cities in Western Europe. The narrow, cobbled streets and well-preserved architecture in Cadiz's old quarter will make you feel like you stepped back in time. And its pastel-colored buildings with peeling paint feel very reminiscent of Havana, Cuba. Walking along streets that, for the most part, haven't been touched in 3,000 years feels surreal. Another fun thing we did was climbing up the bell tower of the Cadiz Cathedral, which has panoramic views over the city of Cadiz and the Atlantic Ocean. Seville was the final stop on our two-week long road trip through southern Spain. It's the capital of Andalusia and is known for its historical sites, Gothic cathedrals, and magnificent plazas. There's so much to explore in Seville, but a few highlights were strolling the streets of the Barrio Santa Cruz district, one of the most picturesque sections in Seville's Old Town Quarter. Also not to be missed are the Seville Cathedral and the Plaza de España, 
which both showcase Seville's blend of Moorish and Gothic architecture. Of course, this list wouldn't be complete without an epic hike recommendation. If you're looking for a hike in southern Spain, I recommend the Caminito del Rey Trail. This hike used to be considered one of the most dangerous hikes in the world, but in 2015, the path was restored, making it much safer. The hike consists of an aerial path suspended over 300 feet against the wall of a narrow gorge, making for a truly unique and exciting experience. Advanced tickets are required for this hike, which you can purchase on their official website. All right, that was my guide to Southern Spain. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and feel free to check out some of my other videos. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next one.